regular fuel versus premium fuel? That's a question that a lot of people have, including myself. Now I have a turbocharged 2015 Ford Fusion Titanium. It's a two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost engine. Now the instruction manual says that premium fuel is recommended. It is however not required. And according to Ford, my car produces 240 horsepower with premium fuel and 231 horsepower with regular fuel. Now during my time of owning this car, I've never noticed any kind of difference when I've used regular versus premium fuel. I have never noticed those nine extra horsepower when it comes to the performance. However, what I've never tried is actually taking the car on a trip using regular fuel one way and premium fuel on my way back to see if 93 octane actually gives the car better fuel economy. So what we're gonna do in today's video is I'm gonna start here in Pittsburgh where I live and I'm gonna drive down towards the Richmond, Virginia area. But it'll be very interesting to find out if regular fuel, 87 octane, gives the same miles per gallon that premium fuel would give, 93 octane. So it's gonna be a pretty long day for me, not for you guys, thanks to editing softwares. So let's not waste any more time, let's get out on the road. Alright, so we are ready to go here and it goes without saying that I'm going to take the same right down as I will back home. Just so these drives down and up are as identical as possible. And I'm going to reset the trip meter here. And there we are. Let's go. still haven't stopped but we just passed a hundred mile mark so we've been driving for an hour and a half and we're averaging 27.6 miles per gallon it went down because it's a lot of mountains around here and uh, been going up most of them it feels like at least so uh, 27.6 miles per gallon after a hundred miles So I'm at my first rest stop here. By the way, this is probably one of the nicer rest stops I've been to. Check out this view. Pardon the wind. Awesome. All right, now it's time for a quick leak and then back on the road. Virginia. Uh, it's weird how you cross these states, went from West Virginia to Maryland and then back into West Virginia. And we've gone 155 miles and we're averaging 27.5 miles per gallon. But yeah, we're just going to keep on driving. says I have a half a tank left. <laughs> That's probably because I've been on the highway for so long here and uh, we're getting 27.9 miles per gallon. So we're 
in Virginia and uh, radar detectors are illegal. <laughs> Good thing I don't have one then. All right, so we're stuck in uh, bad weather here and there's a bunch of police cars up there. So I don't know if a tree's falling down on the road or if there's an accident or something. So let's see how long we get stuck here. Yep, it's a tree. All right, guys, we have driven 311 miles. Been driving for uh, over five hours, well, five hours and three minutes. Um, and uh, I'm gonna refuel here. So we know that the car gets 28.5 miles per gallon for the 311 miles that we've driven. So right now I'm gonna grab something quick to eat and then uh, I'm gonna get some 93 in there and then we're gonna go all the way back home. All right guys, so picked up some Red Bull, some more water, got a full tank of gas. And now I'm going to reset trip meter two. So we went 311.2 miles on the way here and we got 28.4 miles per gallon. I'm going to go the exact same way home, exact same distance. And we'll see if there's any difference between 87 octane and 93 octane. It's almost 5.30 p.m. and I got about a five hour drive home. I am really hoping though that there is some kind of difference between 87 and 93 so it's not like identical because then it <laughs> feels like I've done this trip for nothing but home we go. All right, we've almost gone 100 miles on our way back home. And currently, premium fuel is in the lead. We're at 29.2 miles per gallon. So it's getting darker. I don't know how much longer I will be able to film. So I'm going to show you the mileage here. So while going through the uh, Appalachian Mountains and stuff in West Virginia, the uh, fuel economy has actually gone down quite a bit on the premium fuel here. We've gone 157 and a half miles. Just pull in my driveway. 10 hours in the car. Good morning. It's the morning after I got home last night. I did shoot this intro at the end of the video, but it was so dark so I could hardly see myself in the footage. Now we have some very interesting results here that I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to start the car up. Now remember, it was 311 miles down there to, uh, towards Virginia and we got about 28.4 or 5 miles per gallon on regular fuel. That's 87 octane. That's the result I got on premium fuel. It took me 302 miles to get home because I think the navigation took me a slightly different route on the way down there, right in the beginning from getting out of the Pittsburgh area here and out on the, uh, the highway. So that's why the difference in mileage, but otherwise the route was the exact same down and home. So you guys remember that I filled up the car with 93 way down in Virginia and then I just started driving the exact same route home. And what I've noticed after this over 300 mile trip, I got 26.8 with premium. It took me slightly less time to get home because of the difference in mileage, but it is very interesting that I got that much worse fuel economy on premium. 
I mean, there's a lot of controversy out there that, you know, oil companies slash government, whatever it is, are kind of scamming people to use premium because it's supposed to be cleaner for your engine. And some gas stations will say that it's 87% clean, 91% clean, and 93% clean. But, you know, is all that a scam? We don't know. All I know is that for my car, I got better fuel economy on 87, which is regular, than 93, which is premium. Now, when it comes to high performance vehicles, I'm sure that 93 is definitely required because of uh, eliminating knocking in the engine and so on. But when it comes to fuel economy in a normal car like mine, where the instruction manual recommends premium, although it's not required, it definitely does not make a difference and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I've never noticed these nine extra horsepower that I'm supposed to get 240 versus 231 in uh, 87 versus 93 octane so this test here it proves to me that I'll never use 93 in this car ever again I mean I've switched it up every now and then because I've fallen for this you know 93 is so much better and all that but it's really not so it's definitely gonna save me money as well because depending on where you live premium can be 20 30 40 cents more per gallon so i've learned that 87 octane works just fine at least in my car so let me know what you guys think of this video leave a comment in the comment section below and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it informative if this is your first time stopping by the channel and you haven't already please subscribe remember to follow me on instagram to keep up to date with the channel before i upload content to youtube i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye